my name's Jack. I've been at Surrey for five years. I did a degree in civil engineering and I'm now Vice President of Support in the Students' Union. I've been dancing for four weeks and my favourite dance is definitely not the rumba. Hi, I'm Chloe. I'm the social sec for BLDC. I'm a second year medical engineering student. I've been dancing for two years and my favourite dance is the Viennese Waltz. Jack has probably struggled most with his hips. His hip action has needed a lot of care and attention. But everything else is really great. You've learned all the steps really, really quickly. Am I nervous? Actually, no, I'm not nervous. Um, I'm quite used to doing stupid things in front of loads of people, so surprisingly, no, I'm not nervous. <laughs> we have argued like every single practice, <laughs> which then normally results in a slapping fight. It's not just every practice, it's every little bit of every bit of practice. <laughs> we have an argument. Um, but it's all in good humour, it's all yeah. in good faith. But yes, we do argue a lot, don't we? We bicker like siblings. We're like little kids. Yeah. Yeah. So how I got involved in Strictly, everyone in the office around me was asked if they wanted to take part and I got really annoyed that no one had asked me. And I kept joking, when's my turn, when's my turn? And then all of a sudden I was told, by the way, you're in Strictly. And it took me completely by surprise and I'd only been joking and then all of a sudden, here I am. Sing the rumba, Jack Pauley and his partner, Chloe Hinchcliffe. That was amazing. First things first, I'm aware Jack needs his glasses before we move on. So let's just give him that. Right, that was phenomenal. And before we start, right, I know Jack's girlfriend's in the audience. Yeah, don't kill her. It's just it, a performance. Yeah. It's purely Very fictional. Well. He has to come into work tomorrow and I do value my colleague. <laughs> um, that was absolutely fantastic. So how did you find it, Jack? Tiring. It, look, it might look really easy, but I am completely out of breath, but I just want to say it's been an amazing four weeks and I really couldn't have done it without Chloe. She's had to put up with an awful lot 
And you've had to put up on my abuse. I feel bad for you. Yeah, that's true. That's true. <laughs> Do you know what's fantastic? Right, is at the end she. In sheer jubilation and joy, she ran and jumped off of you. Like, oh! Yeah, I didn't know that was coming. Yeah, no, that was. Uh... <laughs> so, Chloe, I take that, that. I take it that that was a sign of you being so excited that it went so well. Because there was a couple things there that we saw when was it a hair clip fell out. Yeah, my, hair, my hair clip fell out. You know, there's, got, there's got to be some wardrobe drama. You know? But I thought that was part of the dance. That was so graceful. <laughs> oh, no, yeah, it was definitely part of the dance. It was, it was a choreography. Sign of true happening. professionalism, being able to deal with any mishaps. You guys were absolutely fantastic and did look like you were in love. Pretend, pretend love. Pretend. <laughs> Don't kill him, please. We do, we do need Jack tomorrow at work. Right, judges, let's go to you for some comments. Who should I start with this time? I'm going to start with Fred this time. I'm afraid to do that, but I will, I will start. <laughs> no, 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 don't be. Um, I, I was very impressed with that. Well done. Well, what I was impressed with is because the music is not very clear with the, with the timing. So you were on time. You don't have that sort of the beat in, in, in the beginning, but you were still on time. So I was very, very impressed with that. And also the choreography was, was, was well done. You know, you executed very, very well. It gave a really hard answer. Uh, yeah, no, so I can well, see that. Proud. So left and so on. Um, I would like to have seen a little bit more use of your arms, particularly the right one. I was hanging a little bit like a, <clears throat> I don't know, broken it or something. It was a bit dead. So, uh, sorry. And also, uh, there, was, there was a few opening arts, etc. in terms of basic, but more basic actions. And between the movements, you were just standing there waiting for the next movement to come along. I would like to have seen you using your body a little bit more. But otherwise, good effort. Good, uh, good, very good. Well done. Wow. You impressed Fred? Can't believe it. Fred's impressed. That's just that's shocking. <laughs> Vicky, we'll come to you. Well, I loved it, Jack. I thought it was absolutely beautiful. Yeah. It was sincere. <laughs> I was tearing up at the end. I found it quite emotional. So well done. I thought it was just my I was looking at my notes. I put masterful, sincere, beautiful timing. And this is the other nightmare Latin dance, isn't it? Samba and Rumbra are so tough. So I, I think absolutely amazing. And the arm when you used it was stunning but Frederick's right you, you when you used it it was great but you need to keep the arms employed all the time keep them dancing just like you keep dancing but overall I, I thought that was super so well done Shirley. well Jack how am I going to face you at the next panel meeting we have <laughs> I'll see you in a completely different light I thought it was absolutely brilliant absolutely brilliant I thought the choreography again, superb. Um, no, it was really superb. Absolutely masterful, um, very professional. We didn't see that little mistake that Munya managed to point out, but it was very well recovered, so thank you. Um, all right, well done. It appears that you've left Shirley speechless, which is, which is a good thing. It doesn't happen often, does it? Yeah, it's a good thing. David. Yeah, Jack, no, no need for any funny lines from me uh, with your dance because that was worthy of praise and admiration. Such a shame about that slight slip, but a fantastic recovery in the end. A bit of a shame because I thought I might get all unnecessary with my high scoring paddle. But uh, nevertheless, really wonderful job. Very well done. You guys should be proud. So, David says he doesn't need to use a funny line. I think he's run out of funny lines. <laughs> so I think I can afford your funny lines, David, because you didn't have one there. <laughs> right, should we go to the scores? Yes, please. Oh. So to start with this time around, David. Oh, I only just made it. Uh, it's a nine. Oh. A nine, wow. Shirley, could you have your scores, please? Actually, I agree, I agree with David, a nine. Fred, could you have your score, please? It's a seven. Vicky, could you have your score, please? It's an eight. Whoa. I score, I wow. score. By my calculation, that should be 33. I You're hope my degree is serving me well. Oh, oh, it is. Oh. There we go, 33. Let's give them a round of applause as they exit the basketball. Well done, guys. Oh, well done. Right, now, we're going on to a very interesting dance, the jive. You jive? 
you can stop that right now. That's that's not the time. We'll just we'll just move on. So Katie and Richard are going to be doing the jive, and it's I'm sorry, man. It wasn't the jive. It wasn't the jive, man. Just focus, focus. We have we have come. Hello, everyone. <laughs> right. So known within the ballroom world as one of the most popular Latin dances. The jive, in fact, has its origins in the African-American community of the United States in the 1930s. The lively rhythm and relentless bouncing actions not portrayed by many today make the jive quite the workout. You don't work out, though, I can tell. Okay, so we're just going to move on. Um, so dancing for us this evening is your vice president community, Katie, and her partner, Richard. So let's, let's have a look at them in training and see how they got on. <laughs> 